Hello again, so we are here now to show you some techniques of IPG Jiu-Jitsu performed by uh, Omo Sensei the Prince, Sensei Carlos Santos, and I will have the pleasure to be the UK for you to see the techniques and for us to analyze. Thank you okay. very much, Dilos. You're welcome. Uh, we're analyzing this kind of bodyguard techniques, and you may ask if you have, if you have seen several of our videos, well, what's the difference of whatever we have been doing for years and this one? If you have a very, a very objective eye, you will see that the economy of the movement is higher than what we usually do. And we don't project people around, because imagine, can you please hold me, Shiochui? Oh. Imagine that, uh, for example, in the, in the last video, that somebody is protecting me, as somebody's going to attack me, and he has it, and then he moves the guy and project it, and, will, and he can hit me. So you will see that everything goes really down, it's really close, and the area that we use for our techniques is really, really short. Because if you have, you're protecting somebody, you, will, you have seen many of our videos that we make huge projections against the floor, and, and we take a lot of space. In this time, we are really, really so concentrated. You're saving space, of yeah. course, for you not suddenly and accidentally exactly. harm the yes. person you're trying to protect or yeah. the partner. Yeah. Yeah. The idea is to neutralize the enemy in the less amount of movement, you will see there are really, really short movements. There are not a lot of spins. It's really short, down and protect, really quick and without use a lot of space because we are protecting somebody. So we need to neutralize it as fast as we can. So uh, for us to start, maybe yeah. we'll be interested as we saw also on uh, Jujutsu, standing up techniques for us to see when is a situation, on, uh, exactly when there are somebody that is really important and you cannot stand up, some situation that we know that are uh, especially on meetings, yes, for sure. us to show some of those very, very interesting So, uh, I'm going to pass here, please. Sorry, I'm going to ask for Okay. I'm going to. So, uh, imagine that uh, we're having this control. Maybe she wants to neutralize me because she wants to hold me. And, and, and I cannot defend. So, it means I'm going to Arrange the energy, go there, go down. This is very interesting, just for us to see a pause, for him to, for them to see. So when he brings down, this goes in a walk. I don't know if, he, if the camera catch so the rest. See that, we can go here, go there. So you will see that I am neutralizing the enemy. Maybe she's wearing also a tanto, a small knife. She can attack, but in this position, I'm neutralizing her for use any other weapon that she may have, which I don't know. So I prefer to neutralize her as fast as I can, so the guy I'm protecting can go away fast. Okay. So, let's see another one, please. Again. Go here. Go there. We can, some go here. Go there, and now, I can. Push here, I can okay. obtain this position, so I'm also avoiding her to use both of her hands. That is very interesting for you to see, just for us to know, is that my elbow is also yes. in a very yes, uncomfortable position, because when you put it here and he forces to the ground, yes. and he falls my, yes. my back, Body. of course, uh, then we have the elbow here. Could I add a long tail? In this case, uh, I remember a long time ago that uh, she does told me that all masters in this position used to unlock uh, also the hip, uh, putting the leg on, and the weight on the hip, so the enemy it, couldn't move. It, it can be done also. Mm -hmm. sure. So could you do it for? Yeah, sure. Well, come up here. Show the <laughs> our viewers. Okay. The same thing, just to yeah, like go here. Uh, here, I'm pushing. Sure. I can go here. here. I can go here. Mm -hmm. I, just to avoid her uh, hips to rotate and generate strength to move her legs. That's also a possibility. So imagine that I'm aware that a hostile activity can be performed. Oh, that's a very interesting case, no? Because in case yep. that I'm going to attack a third person. So I really want to neutralize the opponent as fast as I can. So I can take the enemy, look at this, and pushing 
goes overhead, I'm going really slow for you to, to see, but you will see that her hands are in this position. In that position, I can pressure, I can also push her lungs, so when I use all my weight here, her diaphragm will not be able to sustain breathing. Yeah. So <laughs> she will be in a really, really hard position. But she's now neutralized, she cannot use, and the person can go away. And another detail, if he wants to be more cruel, is also to pass both arms and pressure my cervical. Yes, Kalusan? Okay. Sure. Again, another, another variation is while bringing mm. here, pass both yeah. arms to my elbow, close your hands to each other like a palm. From here and her cervical. Now I'm really, really pressing her. It's a really, really uh, compromised position because now I can also harm her cervical. And in that position, I now right. can go here. I'm protected. Okay. Thank you so much, Josh. Oh, you're welcome. So, I hope you could understand those very special techniques of uh, I, within IQ Jiu-Jitsu, thank you Kamsan. Sure. And the next video you're going to show some of those details applied to Kopo Jiu-Jitsu.